Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthus. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and Guest Block continues with uh, I, Mokona, and the Full Armor Gundam Mark II. Uh, Full Armor Mark II is a general, and it's an interesting one because it has a new skill, which is basically a guard that, uh, uh, that uh, cancels almost all damage. You take minimal damage, but also it, it pretty much prevents stun and... Uh, uh, stun and uh, knockdown and all those things. You just sit there and tank attacks. It consumes boost. It, as far as I can tell, it kind of works like blocking does in the Gundam Versus games. As long as you hold it, you consume boost, but you're not going to take much if any damage. Uh, case in point, uh, we were helping Nurse Gundam uh, test some of this, and uh, she managed to tank uh, the high mega cannons from... I forget how many phases all at once. It, w it I think it was like five or six. So yeah, that is a pretty substantial, uh, pretty substantial uh, uh, defensive ability. And so when you use it, you know, if you get a chance to use it judiciously, you're going to be able to get through quite a few things. Uh, let's see. That is a standard Mark II that Moko is uh, facing down now. I think it has the same uh, uh, basic uh, melee pattern as the uh, Nero family. Not 100% sure about that, but that's what it looks like from what I've seen so far. I do not have this yet. I'd like to. There's a whole bunch of uh, two stars I'd like to have, not the least of which is the Hazel Custom. But uh, we'll see what happens on that. Uh, let's see. That uh, Zeku Eins Type uh, 3 decided to uh, advance on them. Yeah, Moko got one slash and then pulled back so he didn't get uh, knocked over. And yeah, it's, like I said, it's uh, pretty good. Seems to have a pretty good toolkit. And that new skill is really neat and needs to be on a support sooner rather than later, in my opinion. Just, uh, the, the, you know, supports have a hard time at higher costs, as I'm sure you've heard, so, yeah, definitely need to uh, be looking into uh, getting one of them tank stance. But, uh, let's see, there is a good stun on that Mark II. And, okay, it looks like the enemy team finally scored a kill. They're a little bit spawn-staggered, which is not great. It's it's a bad position to be in, but it uh, looks like they're... Since it's only four-person teams, it's a little bit uh, a little bit uh, easier to recover from that, I think, just because you, you only need to coordinate three or four people at once instead of five to six. So, yeah. Um, and there is an Ifrit uh, Noct, I think it is. Or possibly a Schneid. Um, okay, it's a Schneid. It's got the two kunai, but uh, yeah, it's a uh, uh, it's a pretty good uh, it's it's a pretty solid mobile suit, and uh, I'd like to get it. And sorry, brain is uh, uh, brain is a little bit on vacation still. This is my first time back to recording since uh, uh, Christmas. I am doing this on the uh, evening of Monday the twenty seventh because Moko got a better round for me and. Uh, asked if I'd use that instead of uh, the one he sent before, uh, so sure, you know, if I, I am really grateful to everybody who has sent me rounds. Okay, I guess it's more like the uh, Proto Gundam's downswing now that I look at it, but uh, uh, yeah, I'm grateful to everyone who sent me rounds, and I definitely don't want to use anything they don't want me to use, so that's that's just how it is, and or is it more like Blue Destiny 2? I think that's that might be the right way. Either way, there's a two or three different uh, two-handed, uh, or, you know, yeah, two-handed melee attack patterns, and I'm trying to figure out exactly what set uh, Full Armor Mark II uses. I think it's probably BD2. But, uh, but yeah, so I've got a, a makeup round from him, and a makeup round, as I mentioned before, from uh, All with Sonic, who has uh, ah, got, uh, got a new mobile suit for us to look at, so... Uh, and in the meantime, I've been trying to catch up on some requests on and off when, when I'm not just taking an opportunity to be a little bit lazy. And uh, also uh, also uh, just goofing around and seeing what I can get in general. Good block there against the Ball and Oak, which yeah, just backed off because there's really not a lot you can do out of that. Um, now, if they ever make something... If they ever make a mobile suit that has both this and the uh, Gym 3 powered skill that lets it cancel out of it, uh, uh, cancel out of other actions into a tackle, imagine combining that guard with that skill. 
because you could absolutely demolish any raids that came at you. It would just be, that would probably be overpowered, but I, you, I might, I might see my way to get putting that on a really strong uh, 700 with a relatively short boost gauge to begin with, just so they could not, uh, you know, not go overboard with the, uh, with the tanking abilities, but yeah, it's a, it's a good skill. I, I, well, I like that they are always updating this, always adding new abilities. Uh, turns out I didn't realize since I never got it, it seems like Shars DJ, from what I've heard, has the uh, skill that the Hazel Customs Beam Rifle does, where it has an EPAC rifle that will consume additional uh, charges to do higher charge shot damage. And I'm kind of, I kind of want to see that, but or I kind of want to get that because it sounds like a neat skill. But yeah, Moko's team absolutely ran away with this. It is. Uh, 14k uh, to 3200, and uh, yeah, that is a good place to end on, and yeah, the, the Full Armor Mark II is pretty substantial. We'll have to see what the final score looks like, but yeah. Um, honestly, both the, my, my compliments to Moko, because they really did tear up that round, and my compliments to uh, Mo whoa, sweep, nice, 134,000 damage, 7 kills, 1 death. 5,500 score, and to be quite honest, my compliments to the opposing team, because not one of them dropped out with the, a, a lead like that and uh, staring them down. That takes a lot of patience, and to, to finding a round where that happens is not exactly common. So thank you to Moko, and thank you to everybody involved, and that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! And I got something I'd been trying to get for a long time now. Finally found a decent deal on eBay for the extended MS in action Sharzaku. And that's that's a decent figure. The I had the basic Zaku, which is 90% the same. Shars has a slightly more elaborate backpack and some thrusters in the legs. It's one of the few uh, one of the few models that actually has physical differences between the F and S type Zakus. So that's one of the reasons I always kind of wanted it. Also, just, I have all the other extended things. I only had the second version, Char, so it just made sense to me. But yeah, really nice, very poseable, and uh, I'd forgotten two... Th well, I'd forgotten one thing and was surprised by another. The thing I had forgotten is that MS and Action weapons were frequently huge. Uh, the Hyzax Zaku Machine Gun Kai was actually so large it gave the thing trouble holding it. And then in Char's case, the MMP-80 is actually larger than the standard Zaku machine gun that comes with it. The standard Zaku machine gun is a pretty good size. Uh, the MMP-78, the you know the ver uh, version, uh, it comes with that too. And it comes with the both the ammo drum that the standard one uses and the uh, uh, magazine that the anti-air version in GBO-2 uses. And it's significantly larger than Zaku machine gun. And then the MMP-80 is actually, I think, a little bit bigger than that. So, yeah, that's a little bit that's a little bit out of scale. That's not uncommon with MSIA. But the thing that I was really not prepared for was the uh, smell of mold from it. It was all still sealed up, but I, I'm pretty sure that the uh, it spent the like 15 to 17 years since it was released in somebody's basement. Oh geez, it has been 17 years since this was released.